Pokemon Colesters. I have another 151 update. Now this time I just made a video, if you guys saw my last one, where I was like, I'm, I was wrong. Well, guess what? Now I'm right, sort of. But uh, I, I wanna talk about 151 and Sneaker Dunk. I'm gonna just address a few things that you guys are saying about the shipping costs, which is true, but also kind of not true at the same time. But we're gonna jump into this. So if you guys, uh, in my other videos, I talked about one dollar cost averaging. If you're looking in, into getting um, into the Japanese 151 because it's so volatile, um, dollar cost averaging. So if you were doing that this whole time, you'd be in a really good spot if you didn't spend all your money when it was in like that $70, $80 range because now it's in the 50s. And that's just, it's, it's good practice, all right? And this is the I told you so part when I was talking about um, the Japanese economy, first off, because they're in a recession. So the yen is really weak and uh, they want to make money, <laughs> like uh, any business, right? So especially when yen is weak and they have a for sure thing, they can just print more. They don't like scalping uh, because the sky, like, apparently from what you read, once again, this is secondhand information. Um, I am going to, to Japan, uh, not till like late September, but anyways, uh, this is, this is a problem there. So they are trying to one, make money and two, uh, fix the scalping problem. And this is what I said, guys. I said that I thought that this box was going to get into the forties and we're right there at $53. Um, and there's another reprint, whether you want to call it another reprint, coming in June, or it's this is a continuation of one large reprint. It's just my, my, it makes me feel good that my, my uh, outlook and my mindset on this whole situation was accurate. But let's talk about this. So a lot of you guys are saying, yeah, it's 50, it's $53, but you know, $30 for shipping. Okay. That is true. If you're buying one box. Okay. So right now uh, you have a, I have a $10 off coupon. I don't know if everyone has that. It's only good for a few more days. But, um, so that does help, right? It helps get the shipping um, cost down on these boxes. If you guys see here, um, I'm not gonna scroll up anymore uh, because I don't wanna show my address on here, but this is the shipping, so this is 10 boxes, right? Um, so obviously higher than $53, but this is the shipping fee, um, the, the whatever, the duty fee. So it comes out to 65 a box. And then I actually have that $10 coupon, so that would bring me out to 64 bucks. And why that information is relevant to you guys is, so let's check eBay. What is eBay doing? Current solds on eBay are 80, 85. This one's without shrink. The sneaker dunk one should all be with shrink. That's how they verify them. So uh, you're, if you're getting them at $64 a box, you're already up and you can sell these for... Um, 85 let's just do this real quick oops my keyboard was not connected so if we do the profit margin calculator and say you get it for 64 box and you're gonna sell it 85 I know there's fees I know there's fees okay you don't right you're already up 25% so uh, good entry point also I do I do think that it is possible that these could drop even more okay it, they can just keep doing this until we're at MSRP or nearly above MSRP. So it is very possible that we could see the $40 range, like I like I said a long time ago. But that doesn't mean that you have to buy all now. Once again, dollar cost average. If you've been buying through points along the way, then you'd be really set up. Um, so I'm going to be picking up a few more boxes and then maybe a few more boxes when it drops more. But that's just me. You guys can do whatever you want. This is the information. Just wanted to uh, bring it to your guys' attention while it's fresh. And kind of, uh, I wanted to go back on my other video that I, when I said I was wrong. Uh, it was just funny, the timing. Because I like put that video out and then a few days later, then the price started tanking back down again. I was like, I wasn't fully wrong. But um, this makes me feel a little bit better. So anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.